Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about that how this whole space of AI is changing super fast and a new term called as large concept model is going to come. I always say that change is the only constant. And the space of AI is evolving at a much faster rate. For the last year or a month, we have been hearing a lot about LLMs. All these apps like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, all of these have been powered by the large language models. But the latest paper by Meta, which talks about the large concept models, LCMs, and I believe that that's what's going to rule the world of AI in the coming months and the year. So what's different which LCM brings to the table than LLMs? Let's try to understand this video. Please watch it till end to have a very crystal clarity among the differences between the LCM and the LLMs. Now to start with, let's first of all understand what LLM is. LLM stands for the large language model. It's basically an AI model which has been trained on huge amount of data to provide the data in the form of the text. Okay? Text-based outcome it goes and provide you. So whenever you go and ask any question, you write a sentence and press enter in chat GPT, what happens internally is that it goes and process each word, each token one after the other. And that's why you would have heard the term like tokenization whenever the chat GPT is concerned. What that means, you write a sentence and each word of that sentence or maybe the characters. So what that means that if I go and give an entire sentence to the GPT, how does it process? It takes each word, each token one at a time, tries to identify the significance of each word. And then based on that, it understands, interprets and provides a coherent result. Now, when you go and do the processing like this in GPT, any LLM model, there are few challenges that you can encounter. The first challenge. You have to go and process each word or maybe sometime each character. Now processing at the token level is very compute intensive. So it will require a lot of resources and time to do that processing. Number two, uh, the context at the word level or the token level is not that great. So sometime you might end up providing the results, which is not at all contextual. And the third big challenge is that maintaining the context of the entire words or the conversation that you are having for a long period of time it becomes very tricky and complex in order to solve all that meta a few months back has released a paper which link i have already added in the description below it talks about the large concept model it says that contrary to the old llms don't make use of token or tokenization mechanism for understanding the context rather take the entire concept or by context concept, you can say that entire sentence which will get you the better meaning or the context why it is being asked from the large concept models. Let me help you with an example. Let's say that if I just go and put a word called as an eat, does eat has any significance? No. But when you have a complete sentence that I don't want to eat or you say that I want to eat, both are the two different sentences and both are 180 degree apart. But when you read or when you take into the cognizance the entire sentence, it has given you better clarity and the reference and the context why this has been asked to you. So using the large concept model, what we do, we go away from the old traditional conventional way of dealing with the individual words and the tokens. We now go and process the entire sentence at a time, which is called as a concept. Advantage to it is one, you get a better context. You are able to maintain that context for a longer period of time. And now since you can process the large amount of words at the same time, LCM will comparatively take less computational overhead. The resources needed for the computation will be much cheaper and lesser compared to what is needed for the large language models. One more thing where the LCM will help us achieve better is uh, multilingual acceptability. We will be able to integrate the multiple languages of the same model in the case of the LCM. So how I see is that in the coming future, the LCM is going to be more vibrant, more available, and there will be more seen compared to the LLMs of the world today. What are your views on that? I hope this video, you have liked it. I would suggest you people to go and read the paper which is there in the attachment of this. Go and read that and understand that what beautiful things, what innovative things are coming up in our phase of the newer developments in the field of AI. I'll see you in the more videos. Thank you.